The Virginia Capitol is undergoing a sweeping $83 million renovation to repair the effects of time and the elements and to incorporate updated mechanical and technical systems. The 90,000 square foot building will be enlarged through a 27,000 square foot addition buried beneath the southwest slope of Capitol Hill behind me. The Richmond Times Dispatch is following the renovation project through its completion. I'm Wes Levan. Join me for a one of a kind tour of the Virginia State Capitol, closed to the public, still under construction. Early November and parts of the exterior are beginning to show obvious signs of progress. Contractor Lee Woodbury says the original windows are being refitted after being restored off-site by a subcontractor. They've been taken apart, they've been um, you know, sanded, uh, they've done repairs to the window frames or to the uh, sashes and then um, they've been uh, reglazed, painted and then sent back out and, and reinstalled. At this point crews are just waiting for moisture levels in the walls to drop before they caulk and paint. One of the big challenges in the House and Senate chambers is running new floor-to-ceiling shafts to hold electrical piping and air ducts. You can see the new systems going in up here, HVAC stuff, new duct work and that, um, you know, in the process of doing the rough end. Installing handrail around the laylight here, there's actually a, a path where we can walk around here. There'll be a wall, acoustical wall around here, so a lot of that sound that's generated from the equipment that's going to be up here won't travel down through the laylight into the house chamber. Above the oculus in the Capitol's interior dome, workers are building new catwalks, walls, and lighting. There's no welding up here. Everything's bolted together. All that they had here before were a couple of planks laid across the beams. As work on the Virginia State Capitol continues, contractors replace the existing roof with a new roof that exactly replicates the old one. The roof has is, is been stripped down basically to the concrete deck. Um, new one inch exterior grade plywood installed over that deck and then uh, felt paper. And then if you look over on the west side, we've got new uh, turn coated stainless roofing that's going on. Workers fabricate and water test new gutter pans before installing them in the roof line. The best part is, no more peeling paint. The new roof won't need any painting. Out with the old and in with the new. The first floor of the Capitol has been taken up, and all of the old plumbing and electrical fixtures are being removed and replaced. Sometimes workers have to cut their own access through the brick foundation. Almost all utilities are piped into the Capitol now from outside the building. This tunnel will also service the underground addition going in underneath Capitol Hill. Harold Adams is lead man for the entire Capitol project. Anything that's been deemed salvageable by DGS, okay, whether it's electrical, elevators from inside the building, parts, has been, you know, stockpiled and sent back to them for their use, however they want to do it. Uh, again, all new utilities here, ductwork, uh, conduit, electrical, steam piping, uh, general just uh, domestic water to feeds into extension like that. The shell of the underground addition is in place and waiting for waterproofing. There's enough room here for new house and senate chambers, museum galleries, a media center, and a kitchen. All the structural steel has been installed, the metal roof decking has been installed. The work activity you see ongoing there, they're prepping for the roof slab for concrete. Um, we're prepping for the slab on grades here and the rotunda slab as well. The puzzle is coming together really nice. The octagon you see right here, it'll, it'll remain open. It's like a glass reflective ceiling. And the heavy duty steel you see on top of the beams here accommodates the access for the roadway that's going to come around that comes back into play, which used to be there, comes back as an exposed aggregate surface. The detail for waterproofing on this structure is a lot of waterproofing that goes on the substrate slabs, the mezzanine slabs, the exterior of the walls, obviously it's all buried and underground, so you got to make sure, and even the roof gets waterproof once the concrete's placed. The key to the excavation is the slurry wall, a specialized retaining wall that uses layered cables and tensioners and thick slurry pudding to keep the earth from shifting. The addition will feature a statue of the Capitol's designer, Thomas Jefferson, placed not far from where I'm standing. Yeah, kind of like that. It's close. 